Hey everybody and welcome back to the Average Woman Podcast. I am that lady, Miss Nicole, coming at you today with another topic that is near and dear and true to my heart and my spirit. Um, So today I want to talk to you about how to love a man when you make more money than he do. Okay, how to love a man when you make more money than he do. Now, first of all, this is like a trick topic. (laughs) This is a trick question because money has nothing to do with the love, devotion, or respect that you should give to a man. Say it again. Love and money has nothing to do with the love, respect, and devotion that you would pay to a man. You give the man the same energy, respect that he gives you. And actually, you give him more because there is, I mean, listen, when you are in a relationship with somebody, the money, I mean, the money going to be there. You understand? If the money not there is because some of us got bad spending habits and we trying to do too much and live too high beyond our means. You understand? So if this man, I don't give a damn if he ain't got no job. I don't give a damn if he not working. I don't because that ain't got nothing to do with it. You understand? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to still make sure we good. If we got to live off my dollar till you can do better, then we going to live off my dollar till you going to do better. But in the meantime, I'm going to encourage you. I'm not going to be a tyrant. I'm not going to be bullying you. I'm not going to tell you you can't get no food or none of that, that stuff. That's, that's, that's that stupid shit we learn from our mothers. And we think that that shit cute and that's how we supposed to treat people. But you know when your moms did you like that or when she did your brother like that, you didn't like it. So why would you do your man like that? And then we wonder why our men don't want to be bothered with us and why, you know, we have such a crisis in our community. I mean, it's because we stupid. Whoever makes the money, the money is about making your family comfortable. Whatever other issues or or plans or or, or things you're thinking about, the money is for you and your family to live good. Not for you to be selfish and try to have everything to yourself and self, 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 buying $2,000 pocketbooks and $800 $800 shoes and wigs and all. I mean, you just, and who you doing it for? You doing it because you want to get a man. You want somebody to be attracted to that. But these men are not attracted to that. They're not attracted to your fakeness. So you do all that in vain. You wasting your time. Because the men are clearly telling you, and it's been like this forever. Ain't no, ain't no woman going to tell you. No woman going to tell you. That when she got all, when she doing the most every day, ain't no man checking for her. Everybody got to tone it down to a certain extent when they in a relationship or when they trying to be attracted to a man. Because men not extra like we are. We the ones believe like we got to be special and do all kind of things. Like, yo, our men know us better than we know ourselves. You can't help but get to know a a female because it's only so many personalities and things that we have. You know? Uh, we do things we do things thinking that the stuff that we doing is original and they ain't never been seen before it actually it has and you know and sometimes it suits us good and sometimes it don't you know but we'll be right back after these messages hey everybody and welcome back to he got no money so how can i love him that's the title of this track <laughs> I just came up with that one now y'all y'all gotta work with me so he got no money how can i love him you know be, you gonna love him because of the the quality of his character you know i i never seen i've never seen uh, uh such a selfish generation of women who feel like you know i'm just not gonna contribute or i don't have to contribute or it's all about me and if it's all about you you should be by yourself I think that if it's all about you and don't nobody else matter but you, I think that you should be by yourself because I think that anytime you feel like it's about a dollar, money has no value but the things that we buy with it, okay? So money is nothing. If the the world ceases to exist and the market crash tomorrow, the Bible tells us that women, it's going to be multiple women cleaving to one man. 
So even if you do got a bag, it ain't nothing that's going to replace. It's nothing that's going to replace a man being in your life. The, the, the love and the affection and, and, the, and just the commitment of a man is priceless, y'all. And you can't put a dollar amount on that. And any fool who tell you, well, if he ain't got this and he ain't got that, then they don't know what the hell they talk about. Because I'll give a man a chance if, if, you know, if he talking right, if he act like he, you know, if he got some potential, if he loves me and want to do right by me, yeah, I'll give him a chance. He ain't got to be nothing special because I'm not special. I'm not I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you do have to be able to act. You guys have to act right. You know, of course, he got to act right. He got to have some type of business by himself. I can't deal with a crackhead. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of things that I could do, but that crack thing is just one of them. It's hard to, to deal with a crackhead because, you know, once a crackhead, always a crackhead, true, I mean, you know, well, I ain't going to say that either because everybody can change. But I just, I'm just not a, in that in that stage in my life to be rehabilitating people who, you know, that's just a lot. <laughs> and I'm speaking from experience. You know what I'm saying? I can't deal with the sneakiness and the, and the, and the ten, finger, ten, ten finger discounts of all my shits walking out the door. You know, but all guys not like that. You know, some guys, these brothers coming home from jail. They done been locked up a long time. They ain't coming home to nothing. They broke, they spirit broken. Sometimes they just need somebody to support them and love them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what, what's wrong with us where we feel like uh, a man ain't good enough or he he got to do this and he got to do that. These men don't, men don't ask us to do anything special. You think that because you can lay that lace front down super good and do all kind of stuff that, that a man is supposed to, you know, want you more than the average woman because for some reason y'all now feel like okay because I got fake eyelashes and I can put a head some, some hair on my head that I'm better than you women who don't do that it really is the opposite because the fact that if you can embrace your beauty as you are and understand who you are and, and the level and just where you stand in life like that's self-awareness that's 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 self-awareness so when you recognize who you are when you realize that your money don't mean shit to nobody but you that money is just a means to purchase things for you to live good it kind of brings you down to reality so the dude up the block who tried to get your number who out here trying to hustle just like you he don't seem like he's so bad right now because I can't, I can't, I can't get me a love and hip hop dude because I'm not around love and hip hop dudes. But I can get a guy in my area that matches my energy. That that's interested in me. That's trying to have something. That's trying to build. Y'all, money ain't got nothing to do with the with the, with the quality of these men and they, and their characters. And for you to put a dollar value on that, you really just it just shows how unintelligent you are, and it shows how inexperienced you are, and it shows your your priorities. Your it shows that your priorities are jacked up, and it shows that really you just selfish, and you really don't deserve nobody, cause nobody's gonna put a price on you. If you lose your job tomorrow, your man will not put you out. If you living in his house, he he won't put you out. He won't tell you you can't eat none of his food. He gonna continue to do what he gotta do to make sure y'all good, right? But you women, y'all won't do that. As soon as a man loses his job, that's the end of the world for y'all. He can't deal with him. He got to go. And tell me I'm lying. And we'll be right back after these messages. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the Average Woman Podcast. I am that lady, Miss Nicole, coming at you today. And today our topic is talking about how to love a man who don't have as much money as you do. I told you one for for women, it's easier for us to go back to school and, uh, you know, make something out of ourselves. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the pressures that's put on our, the men, is not the same pressures that's put on us. So, I don't know about y'all, but as soon as, you know, a man is 18, 16, mama instantly, you need to get a job, you need to get a job, you need to get a job. That's like their favorite thing. You know, you need to get a job. You need to get a job. They're not encouraging them to go to school, get their education. They're not allowing them. I mean, I, part of our men problem is, is that we just don't support them properly. 
you know we throw our guys out there and you know the the schools don't teach them anything half of them can barely read when they get out of high school and you know they get these bs jobs working and there's no encouragement the checks don't be nothing and i understand that this is i mean it's discouraging you know and men just are deciding to go and take on careers that we consider quote women careers you know what i'm saying because that's where the money is the money is in you women spending up all y'all money and a lot of y'all prefer to spend y'all money with men than women so the men are capitalizing on that you know what i'm saying which is totally fine with me i don't have a problem with anything that anybody do to get their money as long as you're not hurting nobody and um you know you can you treat it fairly you know you got we got to be more we got to be more open you know to, to so what he doesn't match what kind of money you make i mean you didn't you didn't i mean if, if this is my thing when you go into college and you in school if you look around and there's more women in your class than it is men chances are they're not going to be a whole lot of men making that kind of money that you're going to be making so just because you're making a bag listen be happy with that and be willing to be the breadwinner in the family humble your spirit down still respect your man because your money don't mean nothing your money is a mean of providing and supporting for your family not um, uh, money is not control and um, you the boss and all that see that's that that's that caucasian doctrine and, and and foolishness that we put on ourselves like money make a man money don't make a man man make money and when man not able to make money women able to make money and whatever money i make i'm bringing it back home and i'm making sure my man got whatever he need and whatever he wants and i make sure the bills paid and if i got to do that all on my own then that's what i'm gonna do and y'all really, I mean, period. And I know I can't tell none of y'all nothing because y'all just like, well, I'm on, I ain't, I'm not paying for everything. And that's fine. You know, that's fine. It's, listen, it's totally fine if you feel like you don't have to share. It's totally fine if you feel like you're not supporting no man. It's That's totally fine. But I'm telling you what reality is. Our men are not, it was not put in the same positions have not had the same opportunities we, that we have you know some of us are first our first and it's mostly to us women some of us are first time college graduates in our own family you know yo, the man that 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 you find that that loves you and want to really deal with you he he might not he might not be the first college graduate in his family he might not never go to college but whatever he wants to do if you listen to him, is why not just support him? We act like you know men are men are just are, are not just are not just by accident. Like men need support just like women need support, and and fortunately, you know the government supports us because they give us everything. Our men don't get the same treatment that we get, but we expect them to be straight. We expect them to have everything. How? They can't get pregnant from somebody and then just get an upgrade with a check and a house and, and anything else that they want. They they don't do that. They got to get everything off the mud. You know? So when you sitting up here with your nose turned up, filing your taxes, hollering about your man can't get a dollar because you claiming both of the kids on your taxes. I mean, come on, y'all. It, where is the fairness? And, and I, I mean, it's already, but you already know where we live. You already know where we live. I don't even have to get into that. You already know how this society treats our men. And we add to it by being hateful, malicious, and selfish, and just perpetuating all the stuff that they tell us to. You, you got a hard time in this man. You can't let him come in this house. Listen, he going to be in this house regardless if I got to find some place to hide his clothes when y'all come to inspect my house. Because I'm not giving him up. I'm not calling the police on him. I'm not going to take child support out of him. I'm not going to make his life difficult. Instead, I'm going to invest in him and love him so he can be a better husband and father to his kids. And he's going to love me because at the end of the day, he know that, that, that through his development, I was there supporting him and being his biggest cheerleader. Man, that man ain't going nowhere if you treat him like that. Period. Unless you doing unless you doing evil manipulative stuff behind the scenes, he ain't going nowhere. 
Unfortunately, I do. And we'll be right back. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the Average Woman Podcast. I'm that lady, Miss Nicole, coming at you today, talking about how can I love this man when I make more money than he do? And I'm telling you, bitch, you crazy. What you talking about? The money ain't got nothing to do with, with how you're supposed to love no man. And I can't stress that enough. Money has nothing to do with the respect level or the way that you should treat a man. Now, I'm not saying that every Tom, Dick, and Harry deserve a chance with you. I'm not saying that because we have to have, you know, um, we have to be, we have to be, uh, have a standard for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So I always tell a female, make a list. Make a list of everything you want in a man. Everything. Everything. Right? And uh, of that of that whole list, pick five things that you just got to have. <laughs> and of those five things, you lucky to get two to three. Period. I mean, I don't know. Listen, if you would ask a man, what did did he want? What is he looking for in a woman? You're not going to match up to everything that he wants. Every time you cook something, it it is not going to be a home run. You are going to fuck up. (laughs) Period. You're going to have issues. You bleed once a month, you wicked thing. Just like I do. So we're definitely wicked as hell. Our foremother Eve brought sin onto us. So how is it that we walk around with this unentitled crown on our head? Like we're so spectacular and so and so magnificent. I'm telling you, a woman, that, that Proverbs 31 woman is a woman who is selfless. She doesn't think about herself. She inspires her husband. He is, she is a pillar of rest. Did any fool run up on her trying to talk to her all kind of sideways? She checks that. And matter of fact, she carries herself in a way that people don't even run up and deal with her all kind of way because they know she got a man and they know that she got respect for herself. So they already know I can't even bring that foolishness to her though. Bam. You know what I'm saying? She don't even entertain. I don't never see her in no man face out here in these streets. Because trust me, your neighbors and everybody, they watch you. They see you. Everybody see you. You got on that 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 long skirt every day. You got your head wrapped up and you quiet and everything. But as soon as you ain't around your husband, as soon as you get somewhere, you all over the place. You know, and people see that. But what if that's just how you are every day, all day? What if that's just who you are? What if, what if that's just the person that you are every day, no matter 365, you just that same person. See, that's when you can bring honor to yourself. Don't no man want a woman that he don't know who he waking up to every day. He waking up to some, some crazy person because you totally not in control of who you are as a person. But that's why I say, well, we, we put these expectations on our guys, like, you know, if you don't have this and you don't, but what about the things that we don't have? Yeah, we got a dollar, but for men, they don't care about our money. They don't care about our money. And and the fact that you got caviar taste on a baloney budget, that's your personal preference. If if a guy isn't willing to match that energy, then maybe you are the problem. Maybe you need to calm down a little bit with your extravagantness because maybe the shit that you're focusing on isn't really that important. Or maybe he wants something a little more stabler than you with all your shenanigans and travelers and your girlfriends and all that. You know, a lot of times we don't want to be told what we need to be doing with our money because we selfish and we want to spend and do and do and go and this. But understand that a man is practical. Men are practical with their money. Men don't like to throw away money like that. We are the ones that's wasteful. No matter how many times the, the these hair store folks disrespect us, we still go back like suckers and like, that's okay. I don't care because I'm going to get my bundles. You have no, and see, our men, they would check that. They would check that. 
See, while we have, we do have all the money, but we don't have any intelligence when it comes to spending our money. We don't have any, we don't demand anything for our dollars. That's why we have all the money, because we are the tricks. And if you, and if you go to your man and, 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 and even if you make, I make my own bag, I get my own money, but guess what? Before I do anything, I, I clear that with my husband. And, I, and I'm practical with my money. I don't. I find it very wasteful to spend a hundred or something dollars on some fingernails, a hundred or something dollars on some hair. That's very selfish, especially if you have kids. Your your personal beauty upkeeps should not cost effect, should not cost as much as your light bill. Two hundred dollars over here, three hundred dollars over here. Y'all throwing away money like it ain't nothing, and taking losses at the same time because ninety most of y'all get robbed. So the, the, the thing that you should be willing to do is get a man who does have some sense about, uh, about making money and, and, and apply your money to him and invest it and do something good with it. A lot of us, we get money, we got these jobs, we get these income tax checks, and then we just trick all the money up and don't have nothing to show for. We go buy bootleg cars, lemon cars that tear up on us midway through the year because why? We ain't got no man to go to the car lot with us. And if he, if he do, we ain't going to listen to him. So we take losses in these other nations of people, they love it. As soon as you would buy by June, all y'all broke. And your cars broke by December. Because you won't listen or, or take no instruction from your man. Because you are so selfish, you think that your dollars matter. Your dollars matter to the to the continuous of our community. And and we do need to be mindful about just giving our money away to all these people. That is, is foolishness. We spend our money on foolishness. Like, we just got it like that. And we don't. We don't have no houses. We don't have no businesses. We don't have nothing for ourselves. But we just keep giving our money away. So the reason why you the, our, and our men don't have it like that, if our men had it like that, we would not be out here in these streets doing half the things that we do because we wouldn't have the money to do it. But because we able to, 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 to spend the money, we got control over all the finances and our men on the bottom, that's where we put them. But how about we bring our men up? I make the money, whatever you need to do, that we're going to do it. If you want to go out and, and start a, a lawnmower business, I buy you all the, the supplies or whatever. This is our money. I'm not saying give our money away to, to your friends and family and all that, but our money is for our house. You're my husband. You're a part of this house. This money belongs to you just as much as it do to me. And our money is for us and our children. Whatever we got in the bank account is for both of us. I'm very upfront with what I got. You very upfront with what you got. We putting this thing in together. If you pay in the, the, the mortgage, I'm going to pay the other two bills. So you will still have some money left on your check and I'm going to still have some money left on my check. And if you ain't got no job, then I'm going to hold everything down until things get better. And I'm not going to harass you. I'm not going to have an attitude with you. I'm not going to be going off on you, talking shit about you. Oh, I'm so frustrated because guess what? Whether he's there with you or not, you got to pay them bills yourself regardless. And it does not matter. The best part, if he, the, the point is, is that he's there with you. So when he is able to get up on your feet, that's good. And while the bill's on, you got somebody to share it with. What is the point in accumulating all this stuff if you have nobody that gives a damn about you? You might as well just go, you might as well just take all that shit off and go on somewhere. Because it's nothing. It's tits on a bull. Because don't nobody want, ain't nobody want. You know what I'm saying? You could build the most beautiful in sports car. You can set whatever price you want on it. But if nobody don't like the, the sports car, ain't nobody going to buy it. So you're wasting your money. And that's what these men are telling us. We don't care how, how much them bundles cost. We don't give a damn what kind of glue you use to put your eyelashes on. We don't like it. And until y'all get that, it's going to be a problem. You know? And we need to, and, and, and I'm telling you, this is why we struggle as a people. This is why we don't have the things that we want and why our communities can't come up because the families is broken, because the women don't want to be led by the men. Your community, when, when, the, when the men lead and the women support the men, imagine how wonderful it will be. We have to, we have to let them know that we appreciate them and that we support them and that we want to uplift them. What can we do to stop the violence go to you you know who doing what they do 
y'all know who the who the people is doing this foul stuff and we can stop it but we have to have a cup we have to have a conversation and the conversation has to be real and it has to be and it has to be something that can that they can benefit from you know it's it's, it's a lot of conversations and things that could be had that that could stop a lot of things and 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 the women you 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 right there in the midst of things and you got more power than you think you do. And you just don't use it. You use it for wickedness. Because you want to fight some girl because she messing with your man. You know? We need to start being cheerleaders for our men. I know everybody laughed at Sherman Clump Mama. And I always go back to her. She is what you need to be when you have a man in your life. They need encouragement. They need positivity. They don't need you telling them, well, you can't. You ain't got this or you are broke. That These these. People don't really want to hire them. And they don't give them the same breaks that everybody else do. And it's not, and I'm not saying, and, and it's not all, and it's not, it, and it's, it's subjected to the person. I'm just saying give your man a break because you don't understand what struggles he's going through or what struggles he done been through to get to where he is. Give him a break. Give him, give him, give him encouragement. If you want him to do better, give him encouragement and be patient with him just like he patient with you. He ain't got no choice but to be patient with you. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to give my man up because he ain't making no money. Money ain't got nothing to do with the what you deserve in my love and my respect. I don't give a damn if you ain't work today. You're going to get dinner, lunch, breakfast, dick suck, clothes washed regardless. That has nothing to do with anything. And our grandmothers... And, and when when I when they men went off to war, they didn't say, "Oh, since you going to war, I'm not looking out for you no more." No, they held that coochie tight, and they well, some of them did, and they waited for their husband to came to come back. Y'all have no loyalty to these men, but you want them to do great things and be great, 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 great. The only reason why these other nations feel like they can do things is because they people praise them. They women praise them and support them and may know that they first. But not our men. Our men don't know that they first. And they should know. And that's how we begin to change things. A man has to feel like his life is worth something to, to really stop the foolishness that he's on and change his and change himself. When you don't give him no other options but what he's going through and, and the same old BS, I mean, why would he change? He don't feel like it's worth anything. I'm telling you, life begins and ends with the decisions that we make as women with these men. And, and and choosing a dollar over your man is the most horriblest thing you could do. A bag ain't got nothing to do with the value of a man. And with that, I say shalom.